Thank you for voting throughout the first series of the show. Now is the time to reveal your favourite presenter. Once upon a time, there were a pool of presenters. Some from TV, some from comedy, music, radio, and others from back and beyond. All were assigned silly duties, but I took them away from all that. And now, they work for me. My name is The Producer. And this is The Show. Congratulations to Mary Chitty, your favourite presenter and winner of the first series of the show. I'm Mary Chitty, and this is The Show. I need you right about now to save my job. <laughs> do you want me back as a presenter, or do you want to kick me to the curb? Oh no! Or do you think you could do better on this hot seat? <laughs> I don't think you can. Be a cultural thing, but we all call it OHTV. I'm Nigerian, I don't know about you. Let's just see what the producer has to say. Hello, producer. I'm really excited to be interviewing you because I've heard so much about you. Shirin is a writer and a producer, but um, I know a little bit about you, so I need you to introduce yourself and tell the guests what you do. Cool, I'm a writer and a producer. Um, I'm a playwright um, primarily, and I produce events as well, and I act a little bit too. Excellent. So you've got different hats on, I see. Yes. Which is the main, which is your... Your I baby, would say baby. At the moment, I try and focus my attentions on writing at the moment, but I'm definitely all three all of the time. But Excellent. I just take off the hats at different moments. At different times. Yeah. A woman that can multitask. I love it. <laughs> so, how did you get into this? Did you study first? Well, when I was younger, I always wanted to be an actress. I was just always like, oh, I want to be an actress. Were you in the mirror all the, all the time? All the time. <laughs> all the time. I was a proper little diva. And I was like to my mom, I want to be an actress. So I got into Tricycle Youth Theatre in Kilburn, which is where oh. I'm from. And um, done all that and was like, yeah, I'm going to be an actress. That's all I'm going to do. Yeah. And then um, when I applied for drama schools to go mm. and do a BA acting course, I didn't get into any. I was really? like really devastated. <sighs> Had my little diva fit in my bedroom. Oh no! And then, you know, we evaluated you. Yeah. 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 That sounds so deep. Like you were 30, 40 something. We evaluated. <laughs> She's such a young woman. Oh, Shireen, here we go. Hold that thought. Hello, producer. Okay, thank you. Guys, this is so hard. This is very hard on me too. Shireen, I'm going to have to. Ask you, this is not from me, the producer, to show me what your diva fit looks yeah, like. Diva fit? Yes. It literally is just me going. Should I, should I push this chair back? Ah! Oh, no like, violence, no movement. No, it's, it's, oh. it's very contained. It's very, very contained. It's just orchestrated. It's okay. Oh, like I you can see. see it, it's in my face. It's very Could much. Could you do there. that again? Because maybe I need to practice. Because if they do stack me on this chair, <laughs> I need to throw a diva fit. It's literally just. Ah! I love that. It's very diva. Wow. Keep it contained. Guys, did you get that at home? That was a diva fit. I hope you <laughs> took notes. That was a very composed diva fit. Yes. Excellent. So getting back to your story. So you evaluated your life. Yes. <laughs> your very young life. At, at 18, I was like, yeah. Oh, wow. Because I always thought I was, I was older than my age, even then. So yeah. I was like, yeah, you know, what am I going to do? Do I still want to act? And yeah. things like that. And then um, I applied again and um, didn't get in again. And then you applied again? Yeah. And then went to university, um, didn't like it at all, and then applied for Central School of Speech and Drama to do uh, drama, applied theatre and education, yeah. and got into that and realised that what I wanted to do was mm. still within drama, was still within acting, but I definitely wanted to do things with a message. Oh, cool. I wanted to do things that I felt um, would help the community that I'm from. And, and, and you thought about all this at the age of 18? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Impressive. And so I got into that, which is good. And... Mm. At that time, I think, is when I found myself in those three years, and that three-year degree yeah. is definitely when I found out what I wanted to be. And when I left is when I got an acting agent, and then I decided that I wanted to be a writer, and I got mentored um, by Kwame Kwayamar, and that's when I started up um, the Writer's Rave. Wow. All when okay. I was in my third year. So stop there. That's a lot for me to take <laughs> in, let it on the people at home, right? Wow. So you got a mentor. I want to pick that. I yeah. want to pick up on that. What motivates you? Some people in their third year sometimes get mentors because they, when they come out of it, when you go mm. into a course, you think you want to do something. And when you come out, you want to yeah. do something completely different. Yeah. So I was like, okay, who would be the best person for me? And I Excellent. went to see the Not Black and White season at Tricycle Theatre. Yeah. 
and um, met Kwame Koyama there and he was like really, really lovely to me and it was... For those of us that don't know, they're not he's in He's a your... playwright. Oh, right. Yeah, he's actually, at the moment, he's artistic director of a theatre in Baltimore, oh, in America. Right. In the US? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. At the moment. But um, before that, he he's worked here a lot. He was on Casualty um, here as an cool. actor and he directs and writes and associates with National Theatre and stuff. And he had time to mentor you before you went off to do all this? Yes. He, wow. Well, he doesn't have time, but he's, he taught me that like you need to give back. Definitely. Yeah. He's very a busy man and that's why I've, I owe a lot to him because Fantastic. he definitely made time for me. <laughs> Sorry, hold on to that thought. <laughs> Hello, producer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shireen, I'm really sorry, but I do love my job. It really... Gosh, this is so... Okay, I've been told to ask you, do you think you're better than my actual producer? Do I think a, I'm better? Yeah, do you think you're I better think than I'm her? I think I'm different. I think you should speak your mind at this point because I really I like to I'm hear it. I'm different. Okay, well, do you think you could do a better job than what they're doing here? I couldn't I really need you to speak comment. your mind, Shuri. This is, this is my genuine thought. I couldn't possibly comment. You have to, producing is a hard thing. Oh, now you're making her job look like it's really <laughs> something. No, it is. It's really hard to do. Really? It's oh. really hard. I don't think she, like what we're, she likes what we're talking about. Hello, producer. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you really need to know what I'm going through at home. It's really bad. Okay. Okay, I've been told to ask you, yes, um, that if you don't speak your mind, you're not going to get that birthday cake I spoke about earlier. And it's a good <laughs> cake. And to help my job, I need you to be very honest here. I am being honest. I think that producers get a hard flag. I think producers only get named if they do something wrong. And really, that is true. a good producer is showing that when they're behind the scenes and they're doing their work and no one sees them, that's when you know something's getting produced well. Okay. And I don't see a producer, so... Oh, that I like her. Oh, thank you, that's good. I'm sure the producer likes you now as well. <laughs> Andrea is the founder and manager of Play Vibes Media Group. Um, because I don't want to downplay anything you do. I've heard that you do so much different things. Sure, I'm the founder slash CEO. It's my baby so of, <laughs> <laughs> of Play Vibes Music Group. Primarily, we're a radio station. Okay. Um, we also do media training and events. And we've got a couple of film and TV projects that are coming up later. So it's all happening. Wow, that sounds like a lot of things. And one says TV or media. media yeah, things. yeah. Primarily, we are radio, but we've got a training academy as well, wow. and uh, we're incorporating different things into what we do this year. So, a couple That's of new amazing. projects. And how long has this been going? We've been going since two thousand and seven. Wow. So it's not a baby thing. It's been going quite strong. It, it's growing up. Excellent. So, where did this transition come? And how did you get into this type of industry? How did you well, start? I'm a really bad. Girl, actually, I'm a uni dropout. My family weren't impressed. Wow. When I said I was swapping shirts. <laughs> oh, I think the producer likes that. Let's see what the producer has to say. Okay. <laughs> Hello, producer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. It gets very difficult. Okay, so they said when you came on at first, they thought you were a good girl. So the way you said bad girl in the smile, they want you to emphasise on the, what was really bad? <laughs> well, that was um, a complete and utter epic <laughs> fail in my head, actually. Because as soon as I said, I said that, I thought, why did I why say did I that? Because <laughs> they're going to pick it up. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Hello, producer. Okay, thank you, producer. My job is really hard. They said, um, stop backtracking, just get on with telling us what was really bad. That's not me, oh, Andrew. I really like you. It's not me. It's, it's them. They're, they're really eager for some they're dirt, really, They, they? want to get the, you know, get the dirt. The, the digging. Yes. Mm, what was really bad? Yes. I would say, we were talking about me being at uni mm. and being a, a dropout, basically. Wow. Um, in the great footsteps of Richard Branson and stuff like that. Just thought I'd throw <laughs> that in works. there. Yeah, see, you've got yeah. somebody who's done it before and it works for them. Yeah, exactly. And it's working for you now. Exactly. So it wasn't really, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was bad, bad for good. Exactly. Yes. I love the way you said that. Thank I might you. steal that. The producer might not like that, but yeah, I, I helped her. <laughs> That's fine. It's bad for good. Yeah. Excellent. So once she left uni and all that happened, I suppose you were probably in a 
good or bad place, whatever. So how did you make that transition into what you're doing now? Well, I started to DJ and I started to promote different club nights and I saw people doing internet radio and independent radio and I yeah. thought, hmm, this is perhaps how it could be improved. This is what I'd like to do. Oh, I see. So I had a vision of what I wanted to see happen and yeah. I didn't know everything in terms of, you know, the technology and the soundproofing and stuff like that. So mm. I got together a great team who filled in all the gaps that, you know, I, I didn't, I couldn't fill in myself. Yeah. And then we, we worked together and... Wow. Hey. My earring just dropped. Hello, producer. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, producer. Okay, so... You were telling me about what you guys do. I've been asked a question to ask you why you don't do gospel because they're a bit upset. Well, we do have shows that have gospel, but not a lot. They're not any gospel-led shows. Because so you think... didn't mention them with the list, so they no, were a bit I upset. Didn't. I didn't. I think a partnership between Play Vibes and OTV would be great at this point. So we can oh, have some I heard that, there. producer. Oh, I hope you heard that. Ah, oh, hello, producer. Excellent stuff. I like this. I like business connections on my show. On this show, not my show, sorry. Not my show, this show. <laughs> so they said this sounds like a good connection. Um, they can see old radio. So how much do you think this whole thing might be worth? Oh, wow, mm. what a question. You need to put it out there. What a question. You they should never ask we need to put, You need to put your money. money. Uh -uh. I you mean, need to put your money where your mouth is. They, they're going for it. They're writing contracts already upstairs. Oh, they're writing contracts. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, in that case, let's so, keep it in the upper of ten, tens of millions. Look at that. If they're writing a contract. No, the, they, might as well go. Hey. I like you. Go for it. Take them for what they want. <laughs> I like this TV station. Yes, we love you. And just take all the money you can.